Well, as a priest, I went to Singapore where there was an existing NCGM, National Catholic Girls Movement, which later became the Girls YCW. Um, and I'd expected a boys movement and was rather surprised to find that I was chaplain to a uh, girls movement which just happened to have the Nas one of the national executive on it, a wonderful girl called Anne Cochran. And uh, she was a model of YCW of the day and it's, I haven't seen much documented of how different that YCW, how personal uh, and unanalytical the uh, movement was. It was essentially uh, good Catholic girls who uh, had a strong sense of their mission, uh, they might not have used that word, but it was their work to care for those they met, especially other young girls, but others at work. Uh, that president became uh, her contact, included her boss at work, a very nice man, and who was a, a lifelong friend. But the work was very much uh, parish-based. Um, the leaders' meeting was a regular weekly feature that followed very well the leaders' bulletin of a, uh, a gospel inquiry, uh, personal uh, contacts, and a social inquiry that was very often to begin with until, I'd say, 1960. They were rather um, moralising. Uh, in their, uh, their content, church going or um, for the boys for example, getting down girly posters from work was about the uh, Catholic youth organisation as you'd expect. And um, I was very interested and in contact with uh, the diocesan movement. I tended to regard the people from the diocesan executive, young girls were possibly 18 or boys of that age. Um, who would come and I, I thought they knew everything about uh, YCW. I look back and uh, smile at my um, uh, failure to understand how gradual their formation was and how far I had to go. But the, uh, the missionary idea of uh, reaching out to all young workers led to our trying to contact, and I think we mainly we contacted about 200 boys and 200 girls in that very heavy worker area and many of those are involved in responding largely through the sports organisations, but general meetings would have uh, maybe 30 uh, or so you know, normally attending. And um, then there were occasional meetings of chaplains uh, that were held, and um, in all of that there was this reinforcement constantly. The point of referral was Cardine, uh, his writings, and there was a unity about that uh, a constancy and a reinforcement that became almost my life work to try to understand what was behind that. <clears throat> and then the mark change for me was the arrival on the national scene of Father Brian Burke, who was the national chaplain of the NCGM and was the first, as it were, mind that I'd seen applied that was searching behind what had been given by the old Catholic Action Framework uh, the model of the uh, following the, the meeting schedule and uh, the NCGM with Brian Burke and the very strong lay team of girls started to ask what were the issues of the of young women themselves and uh, whether it be in the district or at work or marriage preparation and that dynamic of standing back behind the meeting and seeing a movement grow and then being challenged constantly at an increasing national awareness of the role of the laity, um, it's not to be in any way dominated by clergy but at its service. All of that involved reading whatever I could get my hands on and constantly Cardine's documents were primary. Uh, what documents would you have had access to in those days? <clears throat> I couldn't even name them quickly. There were chaplains' uh, bulletins that came out. The Catholic but, Action uh, Chaplain. The, yeah. Yes. And um, that had been, there was a, a strong movement in Australia. I would say possibly a third of the curates of my time, young priests, were committed, maybe even half, uh, in practice and in theory, as they could follow it, uh, to uh, YCW. And the sheer power and presence of the YCW leaders 
Uh, it certainly wasn't Cardan that was on them. It was the actual presence of the young leaders, their sense of self-respect, their awareness of their role, their good nature and almost tolerance in understanding and working with priests, um, a great respect. It was a conflict-free, pre-Vatican Council and during the Vatican Council, there was not much occasion for any conflict. It was all assumed that uh, a harmony model, and it worked that way, of uh, the uh, laity and the priests, even though there was building up gradually uh, tension that would explode in the 70s, largely around the political struggle of the um, right wing of Santa Maria's movement in politics, and also the uh, international movement of YCW through its contact with military dictatorships, the third world presence, which radicalised very much in the mood of the time uh, through the Vietnam War. Uh, that was a jump, if you name 1970 as a turning point. Prior to that, I'd been attending national councils of boys and girls around Australia. I was working on the Catholic press and had the freedom to move. And in the 50s, I was on the national executive of the NCGM and in the 60s on the National Executive of the Boys' Council. Um, and in the parish, my main contact for me was with a, a very good parish group uh, at Colonel Life Gardens. So it was a world of YCW that was lived, and in and around that I was pursuing whatever I could lay my hands on of Cardiron, uh, books that uh, would be standard, such things as um, we mentioned the uh, yesterday, the... Moment into action. Uh, no, before that, the novel, the um, oh, Fishes of Men. Fishes of Men. I think it was the primary one. Uh, many Sheedon Ward publications. Uh, Franz Pagan. Uh, of Cardinal specifically, not a great deal. He wasn't a great writer, but the themes he was mainly transported, I think, by themes such as Sea Judge Act, uh, and a collection of phrases to act before, to act with, to act after. Um, and the uh, yes, the messages were actually communicated by strong national leaders and uh, the national chaplains, and a loyalty among the priests who are a certain uh, which uh, self consciousness of working for uh, the participation of the laity uh, in their own lives, not primarily in the church, but uh, as an organisation but primarily in their place of work, their family, their social life. Should we move to a changing point, that 1970 scene? Uh, I was asked uh, to go as national chaplain to the YCS in uh, 1973, I think. I declined it the year before because I thought it was beyond me. Uh, I was too old for it. I, I won't just, yeah, no, no, 